Okay, so sort by height. Some people are standing in a road in a park and there are trees between them which cannot be moved. Your task is to rearrange the people by their heights in a non-descending order without moving the trees. Example here. So first of all you'd think, okay, so we need to make it so that the people are standing in ascending order without affecting the minus ones. So if we take the minus ones out of this array, then we just have the people. And then we can sort the people in ascending order, and then we'll go from there. So first of all, we need to take minus one out of the array, and we would use uh, the filter method for that. So we do const people is equal to a, because that's the array, filter, and then element. And what we want is if the element is not equal to minus one. Just console log that. And the console output. Turn this one the wrong way around. There we go. So now we've just got the people, or the people sizes, or their heights. Now we want to sort the people in ascending order. So we can do that with a sort method. So let's just say sorted people. And that would be people dot the sort method, so A and B, and A is larger than B, so we would want, I believe it's A of A minus B, console, oh. always get these mixed up, console log sorted people, And yeah, they're in ascending. We take that out. Now they're in ascending order. We need to input back the um, the trees. So we need to put the trees back into the array in the original place where they were. We can do that in many ways. We could do it this way. So let i, which is going to be our index is equal to minus one. And now if we map, so it would be return. A map. Value. And now we want to know, yes, that's correct. It will be a map value because we're going to map through the original array so we know where the minus ones are meant to be. So now if the value is equal to minus one, we want to return minus one. However, if it isn't equal to minus one, we first want to increase our index by one. So now our index is zero. And in that array, in the original array of zero, yeah, I'm getting confused, but if the value is equal to minus one, return minus one. So the first one is minus one. So we will return minus one. The second one is 150, so it's not equal to minus 1. However, we need to increment the index by 1, and now we're going to go through the sorted people. So in the sorted people, the index would be 0, and that would be 150. 
So what we want is A. We want to return A is equal to sorted people I. So this would increment I by one, which means I would be zero, would have the first value or the first element of sorted people at index zero. So that would be 150 pushed into the L um, array, which would be returned. So now the second one uh, is 160. So if the value is equal to minus one, which it isn't, so increase I by one. So now the index is one and it will push uh, 160 into that our array. And it will do the same for 170 and then it's now minus one. So if the value is minus one, it's going to return minus one. Again for minus one. And now the index is increased again. So it's zero, one, two, three. So now it's going to push 180 and then 190. And that should, yes, test will pass. However, we can actually clean this code up. So it's two lines. And instantly, the way in what we can do is we can have sorted people in one line by just placing the sort method onto the end of filter. So that will do exactly the same. Just clicked on run tests again. And also we can change this up a little bit here. So instead of tracking the index, we can take the index out and where's the index there? We no longer need um, this here. We'll take this line out and we'll take that line out there and we'll just we'll just take we'll just start the map up function, the map all over again, the map method. So we want to return what have I not done here? Um, map value. There we go. So now what we want to do is if the value is equal to minus one. I need that question mark. We want to return minus one else we want to return the, the the first value in sorted people which we can use a shift for that so sorted people dot shift and as it says here it removes the first element the first element from an array and returns it so every time sorted people dot shift is run, it's going to remove the first element from the sorted people, and then it's going to return it. So for instance, if the value is equal to minus one, it's going to return minus one. But for the second one, the value isn't equal to minus one from, from the original array. So it's going to return the first value from sorted people, which is 150, and it's going to return it. The next one doesn't equal minus one. So now the first element in the sorted people array is 160, because we've already taken 150 out, and now it's going to return it. We run the tests, and it's passed.